And so I made it to the top of the hill and this is the very place right here. We have the Loma Linda hills in the mountains uh, to the south there. And we have some more mountain action to the north of Loma Linda. And if you see the, the postcard, you will notice that the hospital is somewhere uh, behind me over here and that the Drayson Center is right there. You can see the pool. But Ellen G. White, founder of the Seventh-day Adventist Church and ardent supporter of both education and healthful living, first visited in this very spot right here, June 12th, 1905. She and her son, Willie, arrived by express wagon from the Redlands and met John Burden, who is right here, encased in, in bronze and all kinds of metal, who two weeks earlier had put a $1,000 deposit to hold the bankrupt property which the former owners had renamed Loma Linda. While viewing the buildings, the buildings and the grounds, Ellen G. White, who's here in the middle, said, Willie, I have been here before. He responded, No, mother, you have never been here. Then this very place the Lord has shown me, for it is familiar, she answered. Although Miss White here in the middle had never been to Loma Linda before, she recognized the property as the very place she had seen in a vision nearly four years earlier. Emphasizing the need to move forward with the purchase of the land, she told the group, we must have this place. We should reason from cause to effect. The Lord has not given us this property for any common purpose. And that's uh, Ellen G. White saying, uh, and the folks from here in Loma Linda. And there's a single chair. Someone must come here on lunch break in Drayson Center down below.